Right now we are joined by Julie Grant with Court TV. Just after the shooting happened last year, U.S. Marshal Peter Tobin prematurely called the shooting justified. Take a listen to this, Julie, and we will talk to you on the other side. Prediction is that it was a justified shooting. However, this definitely will be investigated by the Columbus Police Homicide, Franklin County Internal Affairs, and the Franklin County Prosecutor's Office and Grand Jury. So he's going to run a gauntlet before he is completely cleared. Okay, so Julie Tobin later said he spoke prematurely, but you heard what he just said. Uh, when you hear this, do you think that it could affect the case? Maybe, Carrie, that's a great question. Good evening to you and Colleen. Great to be with you. It seems like it was quite premature, and now those words may come back to haunt them because at the end of the day, the biggest question in this case is going to be whether or not the shooting was justified. Very bad facts for this former sheriff's deputy, as I've been reading them uh, throughout the day. And it seems to me that the only way in which this could potentially be justified under the law would be if it were self-defense or an accident. This isn't a case of who done it. Um, sure does doesn't seem like an accident. So I think the only way we may see a defense coming uh, from Jason Meade would be with self-defense and saying the shooting was justified. But based on the facts I'm seeing, that is going to be a very, very tough thing to convince a jury of. Yeah, you know, Julie, it will be a high, bore, a high bar for this. There's no body camera footage. Really, no eyewitnesses have come forward that anybody's been able to identify. With your experience covering cases like this on court TV, what's going to be the big challenge for the prosecution and the defense in this case? Well, that's a great question too, Colleen. Well, I think for the defense, the biggest thing they're gonna have to get around is the science. Because even if Jason Meade puts forth a, an affirmative defense, one of self-defense in this case, the forensic science isn't going to lie. We know that Casey Goodson Jr. was shot six times from behind. So the medical examiner is going to tell a very different story, as I understand it. Uh, for the state, I think there are many, many, many favorable facts, um, one of which the fact that he had his keys in the door. He's going home, the place where he should feel the safest in the whole wide world. Someone's home is the place that is sacrosanct, and he's going in the door. So keys in one hand, presumably subway sandwiches in the other. How many hands does he have? If this officer is going to say he had a gun in another hand, uh, how is the jury going to be receiving this? And I think for the state, perhaps some of the difficulty in heading to trial or throughout the trial might be with what we just heard uh, at the top of your broadcast with that statement from law enforcement. This case has a real stink on it. I think the fact that so many months went by mm -hmm. and nothing was done about this, the way in which this young man was shot, he was carrying lawfully. He was at his doorstep of his own home. And this officer said to have followed him home and then shot him from behind, not just once, but six times. Very bad facts for this sheriff's deputy. Julie, before we let you go, the, the, we've, we've heard a lot from Jason Meade's attorney about his actions. Will he have to testify to defend himself in this case? Carrie, I believe he will. If he is going to say, if his defense team, I should say, is going to say that he acted in self-defense, Jason Meade is really the only person in the, world, person in the world who can get up there on the stand and say that he was in fear of death or serious bodily injury. The only way to use deadly force like that on someone would be is if he was in fear of being killed. And so we have no body camera footage, as, as you all pointed out. There is no camera footage from a dash cam from a cruiser nearby. It's really just going to be his word that, that's going to, to be uh, very heavily given weight by this jury. And so I think if he has any chance, it would be through testifying and getting his story out there of what really happened between him and Casey Goodson Jr. Yeah, thank you so much, mm -hmm. Julie, for your perspective on all of this. And, and it'll be interesting to see if Court TV comes along to cover this case mm -hmm. as well. Thanks, Julie.